crack. So uh, it was my birthday recently and it just so happened to be the same day that all the coronavirus stuff really kicked off. Uh, Donald Trump gave his big speech and stuff like that. So I had to cancel dinner and didn't really do anything for my birthday. I was just kind of stuck inside. A little bit scared I think like everyone else. But uh, my friend Maria in Germany had already sent me a package and it didn't arrive on my, on my birthday but it did arrive and I have it here. And I've no idea what's inside. And thanks, Maria, for sending this. I'm a little bit paranoid that there's coronavirus all over it, but uh, yeah, time will tell, I guess. I hope not. So I was talking to Maria a while ago back, and she taught me to be careful opening up the present. And I was like, oh, why is there a glitter bomb or something like that? And she was like, uh, kind of. So I'm not, I'm not 100% sure if she's actually joking or if there's actually a glitter bomb in here. So yeah, <laughs> I guess we'll see. I'm gonna open it. Okay, I can already see glitter. There's loads of glitter here. Can you see it? Okay. Get my trusty knife. She said to be careful opening it, so um, I'm going to take her advice. <laughs> okay, the lid's about to come off. I'm not sure if I should. I'm actually kind of freaked out now to open this. This is what the coronavirus has done to me. Yeah? Like, I can't even open up a box without thinking that something's going to harm me. Okay. No, actually. <laughs> Genuinely, like, I didn't cut one of them. Okay. Ah, oh. oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. This is not what I was expecting. Okay, so I was full sure there was going to be like a glitter bomb or something like that, but it's just lots of confetti. I hope. I hope there's not going to be something <laughs> that I trigger in this and it's going to set off something else and explode all over me. I'm gonna have a look through this. This is awesome, Maria. Honestly, thank you. Loads of stuff and a card. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if you can read it. To my favourite leprechaun. <laughs> Thanks, Maria. I, re I really appreciate that. Cheers. I'm not going to read it out, but yeah, I'm just going to have a quick look at it. Okay, what's this? Oh, she said the little. She said in the card, the funny guy in the blue dress is the mascot of the Leipzig fair. Leipzig is the is the city that Maria is from in Germany. Fact checker. Maria actually comes from Magdeburg, not from Leipzig. Continue with the video. Uh, I was there in about 2017. I think I have some photos of it. So if I do have some photos of it, I'll show them. Yeah, this is really cool. It's made of chocolate. <laughs> mm, is this an actual mascot? Can I eat this? It looks like chocolate. No, no, I can't. <laughs> That's my first talk. Like, oh yeah, cool. Can I eat this? Yeah, I'm not sure if I can eat that. I hope I can eat it. Okay, so what else do we have? <laughs> <laughs> a Harry Potter wand, I think. Or as I know, it's a Harry Potter wand. Not sure where to hold it. What, where do I hold it? But uh, yeah, I've done the Harry Potter uh, house test a few times and I am Slytherin. Sad to say, I know a few a few people out there won't like that, but uh, yeah, I've done it a few times like because I was like, Slytherin, really? I didn't think that, but yeah. Thank you, Maria. I will add this to my, um, to my witchcraft collection, which I don't have. Gotta have stools. It's so much better. Oh my god, that's perfect. My first Harry Potter kind of a uh, uh, thing. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck is it called? <laughs> what are they called? Uh, Harry Potter memorabilia. Yeah, it's pretty good. <sighs> totally doing a spell right now. Yeah. What else do we have? A little magnet for the fridge. Like a little, uh, like a little German house. It's pretty cool. It says Germany on it. It's got the German flag. That's really cool. And it's got like little flags up here too. I'm gonna stick that in my fridge. Thanks, Maria. That's really cool. And, I, I, and I've also been to Germany, so that's cool to have that where I can be like, yeah, I totally went to Germany and brought that magnet back several years later. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, this is gonna be so good. When I went to Leipzig to visit Maria, well, I ate some currywurst there, and if you don't know what currywurst is, it's like a ketchup curry, and you eat it with chips and sausages, called wurst. Yeah, this is really, really nice. I'm gonna give it a smell it. But uh, yeah, I remember it being so, so good. Mm. It, it looks a little bit red, but it's actually like really kind of dark brownie orange. It's a curry ketchup. Ah, oh, it's so good, honestly. Even the smell of it there, I'm like, oh, that's... <laughs> I can't wait to try this. I really, really appreciate this. And it just brings back memories of Leipzig as well, which was uh, which was awesome. Thank you. What else do we have? A lot of glitter. <laughs> like, anyone, anyone want some glitter? Oh shit, it's all over the place. Starlight, what's this? Starlight. What's it? What is this? Oh, it's like a little nightlight thing. Which one's I get? Oh, cool. This is awesome. Oh, that's really, really cool. 
this is uh, I'm gonna have to expose the camera now to see this focus but uh, this is like a little night light you put it on the saucer here and I guess you put a candle in the middle and uh, it's kind of thin ceramic so the, the light comes through it but what's cool about this is that the, the, the pictures that are on it places in Leipzig that I've been to this here is the tower, I think it was built by Napoleon, if, if I remember Maria's tour correctly. And uh, that tower was built by, by Napoleon. Oh no, this tower. <laughs> the big massive one. That was built by Napoleon, as far as I know. Sorry Maria, like I, I do try to remember these things, but you know. But this is gonna be really, really cool. Like I don't I don't have a candle at the minute to fucking put in it. Put it here, carefully I don't break it. If you haven't been to Leipzig, it's a really, really beautiful city, honestly. It's, it's so, so nice. And if you want to go to Leipzig and you want to do a tour, yeah, I, I'll talk about it more at the end. Okay, what else do we have? I feel like a kid at Christmas, like, oh my god. <laughs> okay. German chocolate is really, really nice, and there's one bear in particular that I bought a few times when I was in, when I was in Germany. And it's Ritter Sport, but it's a cornflake one. And it's so good, honestly. It's a really kind of crispy, chunky one. I have two. Thank you, Maria. I'm gonna really, really enjoy these. More glitter. Got a candle. Happy birthday. It's really, really cool. I wonder if it smells like Leipzig. Or if it smells like happy birthday. No, it literally smells like nothing. <laughs> or else I have the coronavirus and I can't smell anything. There's literally no smell. It's really cool. Thanks, Maria. I can't stop saying thanks. <laughs> I should just do a big thank you at the end. What else? There's so much in here. Okay, we're almost coming to the end, I guess. There's more, more chocolate. <laughs> she got me some Kinder Mini Mix and there's like holes in it, but now it's full of glitter. <laughs> do you want some glitter with your candy? Here you go. <laughs> I'm actually afraid to open it up because it's just, look at this, it's just, Seriously, I'm like, this is, <laughs> it's just still going, it's still like, it's raining, I'm, ma I'm making it rain glitter, and I'm probably breaking up the candy inside, is that it? There's still tons of it, oh my god, thank you Maria for this chocolate filled glitter container, yeah, I think there's something else in here, through the bag, is there something in here? Oh, it's just, <laughs> No, it's just a bag that says Leipzig or Leipzig. Is it, have I been saying it wrong the entire video? I hope not. But this go. Oh, and would you guess there's glitter inside it? <laughs> Who would have guessed? There's, there just happened to be a mountain of glitter inside in this bag that happened to be in this box full of glitter. I'm like one of the My Little Pony, I'm so sparkly. No, before anyone asks, I am not a brony. Let's get that out of the way. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is like, oh, this is amazing. I can't believe she's got me some of this. It's like my favorite thing in the world. Ah, uh, oh yeah. Ah, oh yeah, there we go. Oh. Oh. And there's about three kilos of glitter here, I, I assume. It's like a Prince video. There. It's literally everywhere. Ugh. This glitter is like a metaphor for the coronavirus. <laughs> oh, it's oh, the floor is all. Oh, it's, yeah, I've said thanks lots of times in this video in a good way, but thanks, Maria. Then I'm gonna open up this one and see if it's actually chocolate. <laughs> I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Oh, guess what? Glitter. Oh, he's absolutely covered in glitter. I'm gonna fix his hat, fix his pipe. We're not business like. He's a cool dude. I'm gonna put him up in my room. Uh, I was wondering why my finger was wet and I dipped it in the lid off the curry. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I got on the birthday card. Oh, for feck's sake. <laughs> oh. Got on the birthday card. God damn it. But yeah, this dude is cool. Thanks, Maria. Cool. I'm not sure what to call him though. If anyone has any suggestions in the comments for what I should call him, or maybe he does have a name. Maybe I'm being stupid. Others. Oh, Fucking sauce all over this too. <laughs> how did I not notice? I just thought my finger was a bit cold. I, look how much glitter there is. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, just leave me here. I'm good. I'm just kicking around here in the glitter. You know me. They call me Glittery Bob. No, I'm not gonna call you Glittery Bob. You can call me Glittery Bob if you want. I really don't mind, Sonny. Listen, I'm not gonna call you Glittery Bob and don't call me Sonny. 
That's okay, Sonny. Well, glittery Bob is a bit of a prick, isn't he? But <laughs> I know I shouldn't be eating candy, but uh... oh, there's actually a Kinder Egg in here. Oh, it's like a it's like a Kinder Egg smorgasbord. A Kinder Egg is a Kinder Frog. I've never even seen this. Kinder Country. I've never ever seen these in my life. Okay, which one do I try first? Okay, I'm gonna go for the frog. Ooh, and I've got glitter all over it. Oh my god, it's, the chocolate has been compromised. Okay, I'm gonna try it, it looks really nice. So I can, I can, don't let the glitter bother me. Oh, it's hollow. It's like a Kinder Frog. It's hollow, but there's no prize inside. The prize is the glitter on the outside of it. It's pretty good though. It tastes like standard Kinder chocolate. It sucks that uh, I missed out on my birthday, so this has really, really cheered me up. I, I might be in quarantine or got some currywurst sauce, and all I need now is some good German sausages. Got my Ritter Sport and a lot of glitter. Got my Harry Potter wand. I've got my Leipzig night thingy, candle thingy. I've got a face mask, but Maria didn't send it. This is just in case shit hits the fan. <laughs> I've got my birthday candle. Honestly, Maria, it's awesome. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Yeah, it's just it's just really nice to get a birthday present, you know? And, and, and... What are you doing? What I'm talking Honestly, thank you, Maria. I really, really appreciate it. I really do. You're a really good friend, and thank you for giving me an awesome tour in uh, Leipzig when I went there. Maria, in no way, has asked me like to do a promo for her but because she's so cool. Like I, I have to. Like I feel like I have to. So yeah, Maria, whether you like it or not, you're getting a plug. So Maria works in Leipzig, and she started a company uh, called Leipzig Malanders, where she gives people like really, really detailed and awesome tours around Leipzig. And uh, she's an awesome tour guide. And if you want to check out her company, I leave a link to it down in the description in some way to kind of thank her for this one. So again, Maria, thank you, and thank you from Glittery Bob as well. Got glitter on your ass, Bob. Cop on. You're a businessman. What are you doing with your life? So anyway, that's going to be it for me for this video. I do appreciate you actually tuning in. I hope you're all safe. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope you're all being careful and washing your hands about staying inside. Lock yourself away from everyone else. Not like, not like a leper. You're not that bad. So yeah, I'll see you again next week. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Be safe. Goodbye. Take it easy. I'm going a bit mental, I swear. I'm actually going a bit mental. But at least I've got a new friend now, me and Glittery Bob, where we'll be grand, we'll be grand. Mm -hmm.